In Bonsai 3D, you can add a variety of dimensions, leaders, and nodes to your 3D model. The dimension tools are located in the Specialties suite of icons. We'll examine linear dimensions first. Before we get started, it should be understood that dimensions are placed on a plane. The plane that is active when the dimension is created will determine its orientation. Move the cursor over the faces of your object and notice that the input plane is automatically adjusted to the face, which is the same mechanism when drawing shapes with the drawing tools. With the input plane located on the front face, click on the corner to start the dimension. Click the other corner point to end the dimension. Click a third time to place the dimension text. Notice that the dimension is placed on the active plane. When dimensions are first created, its controls are visible. However, we'll talk more about this later in this tutorial. An even faster way to add a dimension is to just click on a segment. For example, move the cursor to the front face so the input plane is located on this face. Then click on the vertical segment when it highlights red. Click a second time for the dimension text, and we're done. It should be noted that temporary guides are available to control the direction of dimensions. For example, create a linear dimension from the corner segment. Snap along the dashed red, green, or magenta guides to align the dimension with the current plane's x-axis, y-axis, or parallel to that segment. Another way to control the orientation is to lock the reference plane prior to placing the dimension. For example, let's say we want to place a dimension along the ridge of this roof. With the Linear Dimension tool selected, move the cursor over the front face of the wall, then hit the F5 key. This will lock the reference plane along this face, which is the same technique used with the drawing tools. Click on the ridge segment and the dimension is parallel to the locked plane. When your dimension is complete, don't forget to unlock the reference plane by hitting the F5 key again. It is not necessary to click on the points of objects. A dimension can also be created from imaginary points anywhere on the reference plane. As soon as a dimension is created, its controls are visible in the modeling window. You can move the start point, the end point, and the dimension text arrow as desired. When you click another tool or start your next operation, the controls are no longer visible. To display the controls again, use the standard procedure used for any controlled object, which is to right click on the dimension and choose the show controls item. Remember that the Pick tool or any other transformation tool must be active to get the correct context menu. The other method is to pick the dimension with the Pick tool, then click on the Show Controls button in the Tool Options palette. If the dimension was snapped to points or segment of an object when it was created, then the dimension stays associated with the object points. For example, if we reshape the box, the dimension automatically updates. If we show controls and move one of the dimension points away from the object point, then that point is no longer associated with the object. So if we reshape the object, that point of the dimension does not automatically update. To reassociate a dimension to an object, simply snap the dimension point to the desired object point, and the dimension now updates when the changes are made to the object. Now let's look at the Angular Dimension tool. Angular dimensions are created by clicking three points. The first click is the center of the arc. The second click is the start point, and the third click is the end point of the angle. A fourth click is needed to place the dimension text. Before I click to position the text, I would like to mention that the arc can be reversed by tapping the Command key on Mac or the Control key on Windows. Let's place an angular dimension on our sloped box. With this tool active, move the mouse over the side face and hit the F5 key to lock the plane. As you recall, this will designate the plane of our dimension. Note that if the input plane is not visible, then it might be locked. If so, hit the F5 key to unlock your previously locked plane. First, we click the corner point for the center of the angle. Second, click a point for the start. And third, click another point for the end. If the angle is on the wrong side as we rubber band the text, then tap the Command key on Mac or the Control key on Windows to reverse it. Now click to place the dimension text and the angular dimension is complete. Observe that if we move the segment, the angle updates because we associated it to points on the object. Another way to place an angular dimension is to just click on an arc segment and drag the dimension text to the desired location. And next, we'll look at the radial dimension tool. 
This tool creates a dimension that displays the radius or diameter of an arc or a circle. Just click on an arc and drag the text to the desired location. Or you can click on a circle. If you need to switch the value from a radial to a diameter value, choose the diameter option in the tool options palette. Now let's look at the leader line tool. This tool lets you place a leader line with text in your model. With the leader line tool active, click one or more points anywhere in your scene. Double click to end the leader line and the leader line text dialog is invoked, which lets you type the desired text for the leader. Long text lines need to be broken by hitting the return key. Click the OK button and the leader line is now complete. The leader line is placed on the input plane just like all the other dimension objects. For example, move the cursor to the front face of the box and observe the input plane visible on this face. Note that if the input plane is not visible, then it might be locked. If so, hit the F5 key to unlock the previously locked plane. Now click to start the leader line and the leader line is placed on that plane. When I double click to finish, observe that the leader lines started from a face will automatically fill in the text with the respective area if needed. If not, you can simply type in any text that you want. The same is true for leaders created from a segment in which the length is automatically filled in. And leaders from a point automatically give X, Y, and Z coordinates. The last tool we'll look at is the Note tool, which creates a simple block of text. With the Note tool active, click a point in the project and enter the desired text information, or paste text from another application. As with leader lines, long text lines need to be broken by hitting the return key. Click the OK button and the text block will be displayed at the clicked point. It should be noted that, just like other dimension objects, the orientation is dependent on the active plane when the note is created.